Hey guys, so here I am in front of my next garden. And I just wanted to point out that it doesn't matter how long you've been gardening, sometimes the weather, sometimes insects, sometimes some other random thing makes it so that your first, second, or third garden doesn't succeed. That doesn't mean you don't plant again, especially if you're planting from seed and you're doing something like greens, or if you have a really long season, you can still get squash and that kind of thing in. Seeds are so inexpensive that Anytime you have an open spot, put more seeds in. With starts, it's a little bit different. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're already started. <laughs> they're good to go. They're now producing. What we like to use in our area to protect from frost is, they're called a wall of water. And what it is, is it's a, a band of plastic that you fill with water and it insulates them. We haven't lost our tomatoes, but they are definitely a little bit stunted. So. They were planted next to the cabin. Now I went and bought some more. We're gonna put some in the greenhouse. We're gonna put some in the soil in the backyard where it stays really hot. We're gonna put some by the cabin and we're gonna experiment with a whole bunch of different methods to see which one does best this year. I highly recommend that, trying different methods at the same time every year and at different times. The nice thing is, is that with most garden plants, you will still get a harvest even if you have a short season. Even with green tomatoes, you can bring these in and put them on shelves, on, on like cardboard boxes. Let's see, on, on newspaper or cardboard boxes. And you can let them ripen and they will continue to ripen through till almost March as long as you eat them as they ripen. And that works really, really well for tomatoes. With peppers, a lot of times, especially if you keep them in a box or in a tub, you can actually bring them in the house, or if you have a greenhouse, you're pretty safe. Um, but even with things like uh, peas, as they age, you can actually harvest them, and if they're not good for fresh eating, that's where split peas come from. You know, you, you let them harden, you can use them later as more of a starchy soup base. But there's no limit to what you can do with food that maybe isn't quite ripe when the season ends, or, as you're going into winter, in late summer, you can actually plant a lot of things like greens and carrots and, and radishes and that kind of thing. And they will grow and then the cold weather will come and it will stunt their growth. So they're not growing anymore, but they're stored in the ground and so you can still harvest. So make sure to read some good books on that subject. I really like Elliot Coleman's book, um, The Market Garden. And I think he's also in the Four Season Garden. If you're looking for good gardening seeds, go to Mary's Heirloom Seeds. We'll have the link in the description below. And in fact, maybe I'll find that book too on Amazon and I'll put the link below for Elliot Coleman's uh, Four Season Garden. And hopefully you enjoy this. We are going to go out and get a lot of these in the greenhouse, try a different method this year. And we also have the hotbed greenhouse that we're just finishing up. So lots to come. Hopefully you enjoy it. And we'll talk to you later.